Hey guys, today I'm going to show you the progress that I've made so far on retrofitting this old 1989 Gerber AR400 CNC router. I picked up from the local Sinorama for 400 bucks. Control was blown. It's also known as uh, Sprint 48. Seen on some machines, it's also known as a System 48. Made this custom console here. Had a one and a half square tube, bolted it onto the, the leg itself. Made some little brackets there that drilled and tapped some holes into the, uh, the frame of the leg there. The uh, e-stop switches. Uh, Got a broken tab at the back, so I'm gonna have to replace that. It works, but I'm gonna have to change it. It's still messy. The wires are are on the outside right now, but I'm gonna run it through the frame, through a conduit, and uh, had to get super long cables. Those are five meter cables uh, for the USB power and also the VGA for the video. And. Uh, I think the previous owner spent more time milling the table than making signs. What a mess. Anyways, I've uh, I've done a lot of calibration tests uh, with the machine so far, and it's very accurate. It holds a uh, one thou tolerance, no problem, which is really impressive, actually, for such an old machine. And uh, for mock, you're going to need to tell it how many steps it takes uh, for each axis to make one inch if you're running an imperial like I usually do and uh, this is how the math goes so we got a Gerber G540 stepper motor control and uh, first off it's a 16 tooth running a 120 to an 18 to an 80 so we gotta figure that out first so we take the 120 divided by 16 is 7.5 and we take 80 divided by 18 and we get 4.4 .4 repeat multiply 7.5 times 4.4 repeat equals 33.3 repeat and then uh, I looked up uh, online and I found out this is an H timing belt pulley that the one inch wide timing belt is it's a 20 tooth they call that an H timing timing pulley and it's 20 teeth. We're not really concerned with that, we're just really concerned with the pitch diameter. So, a stepper motor is 200 steps to make one revolution. So when we multiply that by the gecko's 10 micro step, and it equals 2,000. We take 2,000, multiply that by 33.3 repeat, and equals 66,666.6666. And then we take our pitch diameter of that timing belt pulley and we multiply that by pi. And we get that value there, which is 9.9996809.7. So then we take um, our 66,000 number down here. And that number actually is the amount of steps that it takes the last gear to make one revolution. So because that's running a timing belt pulley, we're going to need to take that number there 66,666.6666 divide that by the uh, circumference of that last uh, pitch diameter the pitch diameter multiplied by that by pi there which was 9.9996809.7 and that gives us the amount of steps that it takes for the y and x axis to move one inch and that value there is 6,666. Repeat here. 6,666.879353. And 45, but you can't enter that in mock, so it stops at the 3 there. And for the Z axis, it's uh, 5 threads uh, per inch. So it takes basically 5 revolutions of that lead screw on the Z axis to make 1 inch. So we take the 200 steps of the stepper motor, multiply that by the 10 micro step equals 2,000. So we take that 2,000, multiply that by 5, and it equals 10,000. So that takes 10,000 steps to make one inch for the Z axis. So you've got to enter that in mock 
under the motor tuning parameters and uh, and that gives you your amount of steps for one inch and here's the cabinet totally gutted the original electronics out of there and uh, that's a Pentium P4 computer I think it's 2.4 gigahertz 80 gig hard drive down there the PC power supply there that's a contactor that turns on all the power once uh, I turn on the power switch. I've got a separate circuit for the uh, spindle router because um, it runs, I think, 15 amp. So I can't run. I'm running 110 on both circuits. So I'm running a circuit uh, one plug for the uh, 110 for the computer power supply and the motor driver, and a separate circuit for the the uh, spindle and. Down here, I don't know if you can see it. Down there, that's the solid state relay. And that's the only thing that I really kept original um, from the motor control electronics. That's the Gecko P540 right there. Really solid unit. I'm running a little cooling fan behind it. Not really necessary. It's getting a little bit warm. Not hot, but you know. That's a 24 volt power supply right there, powering the G540 to run the motors. And also, it's, uh, I'm using the 24 volts through the Gecko uh, to turn on that um, um, solid state uh, relay. That's basically how the cabinet looks for now. I've got the e stop switches, the limit switches all wired into that G540 there. Wire's a little bit messy now, but I'm going to have to tie wrap them all up and clean it all up nice. That's what I've done so far. We'll come back around the front. And, uh, done a lot of testing. And basically, I'm able to run this machine at uh, 300 inches a minute. And, uh, seems to run very good without losing any steps. High speed or low speed. That squeaking you're hearing there is actually the uh, the way covers. Pretty quick. This is the Z axis here. Pretty fast. Now this machine here only has a limit switch on the Y and X axis. So with Mach 3, it always wants to home the Z axis first and there's no limit switch for the z-axis on this machine it's just there's no wiring no switch so I'm gonna run one eventually because uh, the original stepper motor wires it was using a six wire setup we're only using a four wire setup on the existing original stepper motors that came with the machine I didn't change those those are original and um, so there's two wires left and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reuse those two wires there and uh, I'm going to run a, a limit switch off of that to, to home the z-axis uh, eventually. But um, for now, uh, when you press reference all home, um, there's a way to to get away with home. When you press that button, you can go to operator at the top here, edit button script, hit this... Uh, flashing reference all home button and delete this line that was here and it was do button 24 you probably can't read this but anyway that's what it was there before delete that line file save and um, anyways uh, and then when you press uh, reference all home I'm gonna bring the axis closer to the home uh, switches so it doesn't go slow for half an hour here run it close here. So now when I press reference all home it just goes with the Y and X. See? It's home the Y first X after and that's machine home. So it's uh, it's all homed up there. But all in all I'm pretty impressed from the speed. I didn't think I would get uh, 300 inches a minute out of this machine I'm sure the original never went anywhere close. I don't even think it probably even went a, a hundred inches from the videos that I've been seeing with the original 
uh, Gerber arc station that was mounted on this uh, for the control on these things. Uh, they just crawl and I mean, even just on their rapid movements and like not even cutting, it just looks like a snail. They're getting a heck of a lot more speed than what it ever was stock. So this machine cost me. Uh, I got it from the local Cinerama. Got it for 400 bucks. A G540 was uh, uh, 300 dollars. PC, well, that was just a yard sale fine. I think it was five bucks. You know, odds and ends, connectors and stuff like that. I don't even think I have. Uh, I don't even think I got 800 bucks into this thing. So, all in all, good find. Found in local classifieds, and I pretty much uh, hit the gas. Called them up quick and just raced over there quick. Didn't even quibble with the price for 400 bucks. Can't go wrong. And uh, one thing I didn't test here, show you quick, this is the spindle. Nice and loud. Bearings sound pretty good on this Porter Cable router. That's uh, what pretty much all these ones had. Some of them had this uh, three axis, uh, sorry, three axis, three phase spindle motor. This one's here is so you can't read it, but anyway it says uh, model 75182. And uh, went on Amazon.com and I bought some, I had uh, a 3 8 collet that came with the machine, which is I guess kind of seems oddball size for me for a router collet. So I bought the uh, the half inch and, and the quarter off uh, Amazon. This is actually the cheapest place uh, that I could find find them at and I got free shipping so I can't go wrong. Anyway, that's the progress I've made so far on the router. Gotta tidy up the wires and and my next video I'll uh, I'll post a V carving a sign or something like this. Anyway, talk to you guys later.